Thanks, Carter, for, for taking a few minutes to chat. Uh, I guess the last time I saw you was probably at the airport in, uh, in Vancouver. Uh, I was with you guys getting back from, uh, from Halifax a couple days earlier than hoped. Um, what a wild last six, seven months it's been. Um, first of all, how are you doing and uh, how has that transition back to school been for you the last few weeks? Uh, I've been doing, doing pretty well. Uh, just trying to stay busy over the summer and whatnot. Um, transition has been, I mean, different than usual. I mean, we're used to the kind of chaotic September with campus flooded with new students and, you know, things happening, you know, you're trying to figure out your classes and trying out different classes and getting your books. And I mean, <laughs> this year was a lot, uh, a lot slower of a pace. It seemed like getting back into it. Um, it, it almost still doesn't feel like you're back fully back into it just because now it's just opening your laptop and doing stuff online. So um, it's really been different, but uh, I'm happy to be back and be back on the ice and working out and, and doing those things. So you're, you guys are skating what a couple times a week and what is training? What does practice look like for you right now? Yeah, we have, uh, so we've kind of split up into, into two groups. Um, you get uh, two uh, ice sessions a week, and then uh, we also get two workouts a week. So, um, you know, Sven's done a great job of making our schedule. Uh, so the guys that aren't living around campus don't have to be uh, commuting every single day back and forth. He's kind of made it so uh, those guys can work out and skate on the same days. And then the guys that are local can uh, work out one day and skate uh, on another day. So. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think we have about uh, 12 guys in each session. So, I mean, it's a lot different than usual, but I mean, um, it's kind of the best we can do now, but uh, it's working out so far. You mentioned March, I guess the last time you were on the ice was, was probably in, in Halifax, was it? I, uh, w let's just go back to that because that was a, 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 such a weird week. We kind of had the sense that, you know, stuff was going a bit sideways um, all over the world, obviously, but there's a lot of hope that that U Sports um, U Cup was was going to be able to go. And up until the last minute, basically, uh, it looked like hopefully we were going to get that tournament in. What was your what was your feeling about how that all went down? Obviously, disappointment has got to be the biggest, uh, especially just because of the the remarkable season and playoffs that you guys have had. I don't really think it actually like hit me until like probably about like a month after it happened like in the spur of the moment it was just kind of like one of those things where it was like oh well you know that's kind of how it is now everything's getting cancelled so we kind of followed suit but I mean yeah it was it was a really it was really disappointing for our group I mean uh, our hockey program's taken so many big steps the last few years and you know at the start of the year um, I don't care who you're asking if you had said we were going to be playing UNB in, in game one of the nationals. I think a lot of people would have said that, that you're crazy. Um, so I think it, it was, it was something that, uh, I mean, all of the guys were really proud of, but something that we were really disappointed we didn't get to see through and, and at least, you know, get to show, get to show one of the best programs in Canada, kind of what we're all about. So, I mean, on one hand, we're, we're all really proud and, and happy with what we accomplished. But then, um, like you said, on the other hand, it's, it's disappointment just that we didn't quite get to see it through. You, you mentioned being proud of, of all those big steps, especially last year. I mean, in your time with the program, um, has basically coincided with Sven's time with the program. How, how much have you seen everything grow in terms of you guys becoming much more competitive and and more of a force to be reckoned with yeah it's in like i guess four years plus now it's changed so much um I, I think one of the biggest things is just kind of the culture of our team um i mean uh we have sven puts a lot of accountability on on the players and i mean it's it's up to you to be a growing up to be an adult you know to come ready to, to work at practice and come ready for the games and, you know, be on top of your work and your homework and 
you know, uh, your workouts and everything like that. So, I mean, I think it kind of took a few years for, for that to set in. Um, uh, like you said, um, my recruiting class was kind of the same time that Sven took over. So I think by the time that we kind of got to this, like our fourth year, fifth year, and then Sven had kind of all of his recruits in place, I think that's kind of when you really saw what Sven wanted to kind of come out. Um, so I, I think, you know, the program is in really good hands with Sven and, you know, if it can continue down this road, then um, there should be, there should be a lot more uh, trips to uh, nationals in the future. Everything is different uh, for every sport. Some are a lot easier to adjust to, to COVID protocol, like uh, uh, cross country, you know, you, you, you can run in distance pretty easily. You're outside. Um, hockey's probably the most difficult, right? Has this been a bit of a lesson in patience and, and innovation for you guys? Yeah, uh, the transition uh, for us has been very, very different. I mean, um, you know, there's a, a lot of stiff protocols in place, and, and I mean, for good reason. Um, I think the biggest change that's been going on has been um, having to wear the masks inside of the facility, which is which has been a, a big change. I mean, um, as well, you know, we can't just come and go as we please um, in and out of our change rooms and stuff, and you know, uh, we can't uh, we can't shower and use the facilities um, after practices and stuff. So it's kind of a bit like uh, you know minor hockey where you just throw your clothes back on and out the door you go. Um, and even on the ice, it's been different. Uh, we're trying to do our best to stay apart. So um, Sven hasn't been using the board much to, to draw up uh, drills and stuff. So it's kind of just been, uh, you know, a, li a little bit chaotic in some senses, but, um, you know, we're doing our best and uh, it's worked out so far. Besides being able to play and compete and, and, get back to the way things are the, the reason why you are a student athlete. Aside from that, what else are you looking forward to most, uh, you know, once we're, we're back to normal again? Um, I think one of the biggest things is, uh, you know, just even, even just going out and grabbing a bite to eat and, you know, doing some of those more normalish things and, you know, getting together with, uh, you know, friends and, and teammates outside of the rink. Cause right now, like you said, it's, it's really limited and, you know, you kind of, you kind of feel like you just need to, you know, stay, stay inside and stay away from everyone. So, I mean, just those little like social, social things that you kind of take for granted day to day, um, you know, you notice the, the difference um, in a time like this. So, uh, you know, it'll just be kind of nice to, to be more social and, you know, even with, with the other athletes from other teams, um, I think that's one thing that people, um, you know, maybe outside of athletics don't realize is that um, all, of, all of us athletes kind of intermingle and intertwine with each other. And that's kind of uh, a thing so far through the first month that hasn't happened. And, you know, it's a big part of athletics. So um, I think once, well, hopefully, um, once things uh, get back to a more normal state and, and you know, safer state, then uh, some of those things can resume and, and uh, we can have some fun. Well, uh, hopefully sooner than later. I know uh, all of us can't wait. So <laughs> fingers crossed uh, <laughs> yeah. things get back soon. But uh, uh, until then, uh, I guess we'll just wait and, uh, you know, continue to, to do the best we can. Sounds like you guys are, are, are doing that uh, um, you know, all the best uh, going forward here, Carter. Thanks so much for taking a few minutes to chat and uh, good luck with everything in these challenging times. And hopefully we'll see you on the ice again real soon. Thanks for having me, Serge. Uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you around the rink whenever, whenever that'll be.